Well, I'm surprised at you. Who are you talking to? Myrtle. You know the lady. My car. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I... I talk to myself, too, sometimes, kind of. <laughs> Dear, how far is it to Los Angeles? 122 miles, as the crow flies. Well, how far is it by car? 187. <laughs> Broke, huh? Yep. Say, listen, Pop. I'll trade you my spotlight for a tank full of gasoline. Nope. The mirror? Nope. All right, Pop, I'll give you the spare if you'll fill it up. It's a deal. What are you going to do if you get a puncher? I won't have any. But how do you know you won't? That's simple. I haven't got time to have any. Yeah. That's one way of looking at it. <laughs> You know, Pop, if I wasn't going to Los Angeles, I'd take that job. <laughs> what do you know about fixing automobiles? Anybody that can fix Myrtle can fix anything. Make me laugh. Now, doggone Gab. Well, Pop, you better hold that job open. I'm likely to be back. <laughs> I don't know. Some of you young folks is you don't stay put long enough to hold down a job. <laughs> Get ready to do it. I'm looking for Mary Bates. So am I. She moved a month ago. Well, I'm her sister Sally Bates, and I've come all the way from Texas to see her. Don't you know where she moved to? No, I don't. I wish I did know. You ain't not done again, and I'll call the police. If you don't stop begging dishes, I'm going to fire you. It won't happen again, Bill. Take your mother home. Is that the only reason? You know it isn't. How about going down to the beach club with me tomorrow? Oh, Clara, you know that sound. Sunday's too big a day here for mother to handle alone. I got a new bathing suit. Cut to here. Well, that's something. Good evening, Clara. Good evening, Miss Cutley. Well, it's awfully nice of you to come forward. I'm trying to persuade your little boy to play with me tomorrow, but he says he can't leave you here alone. Oh, that's ridiculous. Of course he can go with you, Clara. Go on, Bill. See you at breakfast. Okay. Good night, my love. <laughs> <laughs> What'll it be, miss? How much you cost? 
coffee and donuts. A dime? You couldn't split an order for a nickel, could you? <laughs> Good for a smile. <laughs> order split. Coffee and donuts for one, Wally. All things in Texas, lady. Fair enough, why? Oh, just want to hear you tell. <laughs> you all just get in? Mm -hmm. I used to live in Texas myself. Did you? Where? Um, Tulsa. Oh, hold that, you know, Oklahoma. <laughs> so it is. So it is. Here you are, young lady. Okay. I'll be back later. Mm -hmm. Now, lay off that day. Oh, I was only kidding. You got the place they found? Yeah, and it's a cinch. They close them around 2.30. Ought to be a couple hundred in the till. to disturb you, but it's time to close up. Oh, gee, I went to sleep. <laughs> you put in about three hours already. You must have needed it. I guess I did. I'll bet you're starved. You always bet on sure things. <laughs> then you are starved. What'll it be? It's on the house. Do you mean it? Sure. Coffee and donuts. Oh, that's getting to be a habit. That isn't what you want. Come on over to the stand. That's the circulation. If it doesn't kill the patient first. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. There's no feeling in it. <laughs> no, I'd rather finish the car. Okay. Wally, plenty of turkey for the young lady. Well, let's hear it. I don't usually find pretty young babies on my doorstep every morning. Naturally, I want to know what it's all about. Young babies left on doorsteps are too young to tell, or they wouldn't be left on doorsteps. Is it such a secret? Oh, no, there's nothing much to it. My mother died, and my father got married again, and things were a little crowded at home, so I decided to come out here and live with my older sister. You're breaking my heart. Oh, you don't believe it. All right, then. I was out with the dancing act, and I fell and broke my leg. So I'll take the first one. <laughs> so you're trying to sell it eat, huh? Well, I'm trying to run. I'm trying to talk. So. <laughs> you know what I'm to do. Excuse me a minute. I'm going to check out. I can 
can take good care of myself right here. That's close up, Wally. Okay, Bill. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, son. <sighs> Why are you sleeping on the divan? Huh? Oh. Now, what are you up to, Bill? Look at the bedroom, Ma. <sighs> well, who is she, Bill? Isn't she a cute little trick? But who is she? Now, don't you say a word until you hear it all. If it hadn't been for that dust ball in there, you might not have had a son this morning. What do you mean? Well, last night a couple of mugs... Mom! Cut... 
Yes, hold up, men. Then Dustball got her a man before he got me. What, Bill? Mother, I wonder if we couldn't put a cot in the sewing room. I'll sleep there. Let her stay on here with us. Well, I... Oh, you'd be surprised how she'll clean up after we get the dust of four states off her. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a sweet habit. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Mother, this is Miss, uh... Gosh, I don't even know your name. It's Sally, Sally Bates. Yes, Miss Sally Bates. The two-gun gal from Texas. Oh, <laughs> Sally Bates. Uh oh. Yes, sir. Two barbecued beef, glass milk, and a cup of coffee. Don't work so hard, honey. Why don't you let some of the other girls do it? I like it. Two barbecued beef. Seventy cents, please. Keep the change, baby. Thank you. Okay. Seventy cents out of the dollar. Hey, Wally, who'd the boss go out with today? His girlfriend. Yeah? Who is she? Clara Bird. Her dad's got a lot of dough. Two beef! Okay. There's your beef, honey. Thanks, Wally. Hey, ma'am. Ham and what? Eggs, you sap. Ham and... Ham and what? Eggs, you sap. Uh, Mrs. Cutler. Hey, Wally. Yeah? Have you seen my super sister? She and Bill went swimming at the club. Hey, what's the... Okay. What would you like? Nothing. Oh, I'll take everything you've got. <laughs> you have swell taste. Hey, you know, you need a man like... Do I? Tell me why. Well, you tell me why not. Well, let's see. I, uh, I have a dog that growls all morning, and a parrot that swears all afternoon, and a cat that stays out all night. Who's he? Jack Barrett. That's Clara's brother. You're an awfully hard man to get in the corner today. I didn't know you were trying to corner me. Oh, uh, you know too bling well I always am. <laughs> well, now that I'm cornered, what? Oh, I've just wondered what's been ailing you. I don't know. I'm just tired, I guess. Are you sure it's not that new little waitress? Don't be silly. All right, I won't be. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs>
Drive you home? No, thank you. It's a long walk. I don't mind walking. Take the long way. Aren't you going pretty fast? <laughs> this thing will go 80. Change, baby. Hi, Mr. Berry. What can I do for you this time? Six chocolate ice cream sodas. Six? Six. Oh. Hello, Jack. How are you? I'm all right. Mm-hmm. You've been drinking. Oh, what of it? Oh, nothing. It's just not good for your health. Hey, listen, Sally. How about you and me getting together tonight? I'm sorry, Jack, I can't. Now, listen, you've been stalling me for two weeks. Jack. Maybe you can get away with that with these other infants, but not with me. All right. 11.30 tonight. Have a good time, boss? Sure. Better watch your step, young lady. You know, fellas don't give dollar tips for nothing. Don't I know it. Well, then don't be so cheap with these guys. Cheap? Yes, cheap. Bill, do you think What else that... can I think? You hold hands with every guy that comes in here. I'm sorry, Sally. Let me go. Please, Sally, I didn't mean a word I said. Sure enough. Sure enough. You know, the Jack Baron is not the boy for nice little girls without big brothers. Oh, he's awfully nice, and he's loads of fun. Oh, he's a nice fellow and all that. Well, the family can't be so awfully bad, or you Now, wait a minute. Around. Clara's different. She's a swell girl, and Jack's her biggest problem. I thought you were. Sally, I don't want to be a wet blanket or anything. I'll do anything you want me to. I'm only telling you for your own good. You don't want me to go out with Jack Barry, is that it? All right, that's enough for me. 
I won't go out with that bear. But Sally, it isn't me, it's you. Now, I told you that I'm only too happy to do anything you want me to. <laughs> you don't have to worry about her. She knows how to handle him. I'd like to know how that little rascal does it. Hold the chili in the back of your phone. I'll hold the chili. <laughs> you mad, Texas? No, boy. <laughs> Mother and I are going up to the ranch on Friday. Would you like to come along? Would I? We could go horseback riding. Oh, Bill, I'd love to. You're a darling to think of it. A bowl of milk and a glass, I mean, a glass of chili, and a, uh, here it is. Hello, Sally. Oh, no, well, sometimes we must take fun for something deeper. Not me. Well, please wipe that off. Then you'd like to see Bill happy, wouldn't you? My friend. Well, suppose I should tell you that you're standing in the way of Bill's happiness. Mrs. Cutler, what do you mean? Just this, my dear. Bill and Clara have been sweethearts ever since they were children. And it will mean so much to him to have the opportunities that Clara's family has offered him. Well, you think I'm likely to interfere with the childhood romance, is that it? Oh, no, I was simply looking out for you, saving you a few half fans. You see, it will be impossible for Bill to love me. I see. Hello, Sally. <laughs> Can I take it? It begins to look as if I had the little gal all wrong. It begins to look as though a lot of people had the little gal all wrong. Drive you home? No, thanks. I'll walk. Right home if you'll take me. If I'll take you, hop in. Take good care of the place, Wally. We'll be back on Saturday. Okay, boss. Hey, how about my hamburger sandwich? Coming right up. Young lady. Let's go to a dance tonight. Oh, I don't know, Jack. Oh, well, call me later. Okay.
What's wrong with Sally, Mother? I don't know. You better not keep Clara waiting, Bill. Hello. Oh, hello, Bill. Get on your monkey jacket. We're going to the Maribel tonight. I don't remember anything about a date tonight, Clara. But, Bill, you promised to take me to this dance two weeks ago. Oh, here, I've gone and bought a new dress and everything, and you turned me down at the last minute. Listen, Clara, I tell you I can't go tonight. I'm going up to the ranch with Mother and... and Sally. All right. If you prefer to take out a cheap little waitress, you go ahead. What's the trouble, Tom? Oh, Clara said I made a date to take her to the Mirabelle Club tonight. Well, if Clara said you did, Bill, I guess you did. You'd better ring her back and tell her you're going. Tip can wait. Oh, but Sally's been planning on that for days. Oh, I think Sally will understand. Oh, gee, the poor kid will be brokenhearted if she doesn't go. Oh, Mother. Brokenhearted? Why don't be silly? Well, I was hoping he'd call her up. What do you mean? Can you imagine me having a good time on a ranch? I spent most of my life on one. Then you thought you were going to show me a good time by taking me horseback riding. Me from Texas. So I came here to get away from horses. And, and the first date you offered me is a horseback ride. Well, you poor boob. Jack Barry did better than that. He offered to take me dancing. Well, I'd rather go dancing. What's the matter, Sally? Oh, keep your hands off me. You're not calling off the ranch. I am. Jim. He's a hot number. Oh, no, I never did like him. Miss Betty, Mr. Cutler's on the telephone. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Hello? Oh, marvelous. We'll pick you up at 9 o'clock. Hooray, Bill's going. We're oh, going to the Oh, the big brother. Listen, darling. He wanted to win your sister's undying gratitude. Well, I don't know about the gratitude. What's wanted? Dash down to Maddox and get my new dress. They're closed. You're wrong, my boy. They're holding the place open for me. Come on now, step on it. Who you got a date with? With Bill, of course. Oh, with Bill. Great, that fits right in with my plan. Great. Get a move on, big boy. Come on, Bill. Hiya, Bill. Hello. Oh.
fighting the girlfriend. Oh, she sent Jack after a new dress. And as usual, the goose didn't show up. And Claire figured on playing you with it. Ah. Maybe the boy stopped to have a few nips. Yes, I'll nip him if I get my hands on him. Well, speaking of nips, let's have one. All right, why not? Sally, I'll be right back. He not only brings that little tramp here, but she's wearing my dress. What are you going to do, Clara? Just watch me. May I sit down? Certainly. You're the little girl that works for Bill, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm Clara Beery. I know. I was just admiring that gown you're wearing. It resembles one I ordered at Maddox. I sent my brother for it tonight, but he failed to return. 
You mean I'm wearing your gown? Now, don't pretend you didn't know it was mine. But I didn't know that. Then don't worry, my dear. It is very becoming to you. You mean you don't mind my wearing it? Why, no. Oh, oh it's your piece. Only, uh, I do think it would look much better on your tat without that collar. Now, you get out of here before I tear the rest of that off you. You don't have to tear it off me. I'll tear it off myself. Here, take your gun, Smith. I wouldn't wear a tall lady face. You should have done that, Clara. Well, I really believe you like the girl. Well, what if I do? Then I go after her. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Gee, Sally, I'm sorry about that dress. I should have told you it was Clara's. What difference does it make? <laughs> That's a way to talk. And what do you say? I'll stop by your house Pick up your clothes, Kelly, Eddie, and a big boy. Can you go? Sure, I'll go. Am I driving too fast for you? I thought you said it could make any. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's been a mistake. We don't want that. Will you take it back, please? Yes. Hey, what's the matter? Well, I was just telling you that. Oh, no, you don't. Come on in, sunny boy, old sunny boy, old sunny boy. You just do a chunk of that, so you put it right there. Put it on the belt. Jack, how are you going to pay for all this? You haven't any money. Got some coming. What do you mean you have some coming? Well, I wired to Clara for a check. Clara always comes through. Jack, I want to talk to you. Oh, now listen, listen. Snap out of it, will you? We're going to have a big party. Stop worrying. Jack, listen. Uh, I, I know it's a shock to you first, but you'll get used to the idea. <laughs> No, Jack, I don't want it. Well, here's luck to you, or luck to me. You shouldn't have come here. Please go. Not until you go with me. Well, if it isn't little Rollo, come on in. How did you find our little hideaway? You sent your sister a telegram. She told me. Oh, she told you, huh? Well, now that you know, you can turn right around and go out again, because we don't need any hamburgers. Listen, Jack, I'm not going until Sally goes with me. That's the thing, Sally. Oh, you 
You think she's going with you, do you? Well, she's not. Hurry up, Sally. Get your things. Well, you ask for it, now you're going to get it. Jack! Put that down! Key witness? Pick her up and bring her in right away. Right. You were aware that when Bill broke in on you and Jack Berry and fought with him, it was to save you. And you know I'd do anything in the world for Bill. Thank you, Sally. I know you will. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye. Hello, miss. What do you want here? You don't remember me. I think after we've had a little talk, why, you'd be kind of glad I called. Well? Don't flash me yet. I was a witness at your wedding to the young man who died. And I came because I thought I could do you a kindness. A good deed. That's very nice of you. Of course it is. I thought you'd see it that way. You get out of here. Now, lady, you don't really mean that. Would you really want me to get down to the district attorney's office and tell them that you were Mrs. John Berry that night? Would sort of change the complexion of things, wouldn't it? It's one thing for a man to break into a scoundrel's apartment and rescue a young, innocent girl. But it's quite another to break in and kill a man because he married the girl you want it for yourself. Don't say that. Well, now we begin to understand each other. You came here for something. What is it? That's better, sister. I need $1,500 real bad. So bad, in fact, I might forget my duties as a good citizen. But I haven't it. Honestly, I haven't. I'll do the crying, sister. You get the money. I'll be back at six, Mrs. Berry. Why haven't you told this before? Because I realized it would make all the difference in the world in Bill's trial. Why did you come to me? You love Bill, don't you? I always will. Then I think we can come to terms. Terms? Oh, well, yes. If I'm to keep that little matter quiet and save Bill, you'll have to pay me for it. Pay you? But well, why shouldn't I be paid? When that district attorney gets through with me, I can't stay here. I think I should get something out of this. Well, I guess you should if you feel that way about it. Have you thought of how much it should be? Fifteen hundred dollars. So you're the sweet little girl Bill thought so much of. I think I can get it. But why do you hold my boy, Mr. Maxwell, when the coroner's jury has already absolved him? Well, Mrs. Cutler, there's one point that's not quite clear to this office. Of course, we know that young Barry was very quarrelsome and a heavy drinker. 
And no doubt your son did fight in self-defense. But what we want to know is, why did he go to young Berry's apartment when they were such bad friends? Why? Bill. Hello, Mother. How do you do, sir? How do you do? Hello, Clara. Hello, Hester. Miss Bates, Miss Maxwell. Can you sit right over there, please? Yes. Now, I believe that everyone who is interested in this case is present. And I want to impress upon you all that it's as much to your advantage as it is to mine to answer all my questions truthfully, as I have no wish to prosecute, if possible. Bill, why did you go to Jack Berry's apartment? Why, to get that? Huh? I mean, to get Miss Bates, sir. You rather like her, right, sir? Yes, sir. Let her? Yes, sir. Jack Berry loved her, too, didn't he? And you deliberately forced your way into his apartment and fought over her affection. That's not true. Well, I want to ask you a question, Miss Bates. Do you love Bill Cutler? No, I don't love him. Did you love Jack Berry? How long had you been in his apartment when this tragedy happened? Five hours. Were you married to Jack Berry? Does a girl have to be married to a fellow just because she goes to his apartment? Will you please answer my question? Were you married to Jack Berry? No. No. Send that man in. Let's step right in, please. Do you recognize any of these people, sir? Yes, I know one of them. Which one? This one. He sold me a hamburger once and it was rotten. I beg your pardon. Uh, did you ever see Miss Bates before? No, sir. But do you know Miss Bates? No, sir. And what were you doing with a $1,500 check signed by Miss Bates? I found it. Oh, you found it? Oh, well, of course, sir. there's nothing left to do but to destroy it, is there? Yes, no, yes. Yes. Well, thanks very much, that's all. Yes. Then I can go now? Oh, yes, 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 you may go. Oh, no, no, uh, not that way. Right back to the way you came from. There's a little five-year stretch that you've forgotten, isn't there? Yeah. Well, I think we've all had a nice, pleasant little party. And I'm very happy to tell you, Mrs. Cutler, that I don't think any charges will be preferred against Bill. Oh. May I go? Oh, yes, you, you may go, Mr. Good afternoon, ladies. Bill. Mother. Gee, Clara, you've been swell. Go on now and find Sally. Oh, what do you mean? That's right, Bill. Everything she said was to help you. What? <laughs> Who are you looking for? Miss Sally Bates. Well, you're mighty as well quit looking. She's going back to Texas. What? Are you hardly hearing? I said. You're 
you're, you're back sooner than I expected. Yeah, I know. Well, what do you want this time, huh? I came back to take that job. Oh, you, you just ain't strong enough to tinker automobiles. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, please, Tom. Yeah, but you, you wouldn't be no use to me. Oh, with please. The, um, um, well, all right. Drive your tin can around and back there and don't fix nothing. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> Back with me. Okay, boss. 